All right, well, hello. It is Friday, August 9th. And uh, the morning sale has wrapped up on YouTube. And we'll go over what sold and what is still available. Uh, also have a second sale tonight. That is at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. That is the Sue Spezio Show. So we'll do another recap of what sold and what is still available. But let me swing. And you can see I've got the table set up and it was toys and games today. Uh, so uh, I had, oh, I didn't get a count done. Hang on. <laughs> I had, um, oh, let me get my, my mouse over here. Okay, so I had 54 items today, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 items, it looks like, still available. So that is uh, 42 items sold out of 54. Okay, so first up, this is a um, McDonald's toy from Wreck-It Ralph. That is $1. This is a 2011 Barbie, also McDonald's, $1. Uh, this is a General Mills toy for Cookie Crunch. And this is uh, a wolf named Chip. And that is a dollar. This is uh, from Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and... I don't remember the name of um, the people that came from the water, but uh, this does move. I can do it with one hand, but that does move for action. And uh, that is $1. This is a Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and it is Spider-Gwen, and it comes with stickers so you can decorate her. And that is a dollar. For three dollars, I have the Thai Harmony Unicorn. Very colorful. For five dollars, we have Thai Rodney the Hamster. Also five dollars, Thai uh, Pablo the Chihuahua. Spirit the German Shepherd. And this is... Oh, I don't remember her name. Charmer. Charmer the Unicorn. And those are all $5 for $8. This is um, Twinkle Toes Rabbit, also a Thai Beanie Boo. It is the larger size, so you can see the, the size comparison. And then I have this bear. This is Build-A-Bear. It is a Girl Scouts Build-A-Bear collab. This is the S'mores Bear. And it does have its little Build-A-Bear. Oops, where is it on the hand? There it is, Build-A-Bear, and it's got all its tags on it. And um, both of these are $8. $8 for the Build-A-Bear and $8 for the tie. All right, and those are the 12 items that are still available. Uh, so uh, let's go through the items that sold. I had the, uh, this is also another General Mills toy, the B for uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Uh, these are all the $1 items, a McDonald's uh, Super Mario toy, a card game, these little Squishmallow um, act. Oh, now I can't remember their names. Uh, hang on. They are the little ax axolotties. There's a whole bunch of them, all different colors. And then there is a llama and a Pegasus, and those were all $1. Uh, this is the Falcon, Thor. And uh, this is a character from Inside Out, and those are all a dollar. 
for two dollars i had the two cute little bears um someone contacted me after the sale to get the dinosaur i did let them know that i didn't notice at the time one of his eyes is scratched and he has a small it's really small but it is a a little tear right there so i did um let them know and offered it at a reduced price um let's see oh and those were those were the two dollar items for three dollars we have the mcdonald's happy meal guess who game the millennium bear this little octopus and i think yeah i think the dragon also three dollars uh, for four dollars we have the seahorse the jellyfish the poodle the ladybug, a horse that is not Thai, the walrus, and the uh, pug. For $5, this was a game, uh, Arby's Happy Meal game, a Yeti in my spaghetti, the ox, the bird, a uh, goat, a couple of squishmallows, a uh, lamb, a butterfly and a chick also the pegasus and the fox the uh, usa bear went for eight. Oh, and those were all five the usa bear went for eight uh sherry the poodle went for 11 the elephant went for 11 and the squishmallow cat went for uh, 21. All right, so that is everything, um, everything that's sold. Okay, so I am now going to uh, go ahead and um, grab these items that sold. I am going to um, organize them by person and then um, we're going to prep them for shipping. The items that are still available, well, I will take those over and put them in my, put those in my little hold area. So uh, as people are watching the, um, the replay or watch the video and are interested, I can grab them. Then once the table is cleared off, I'm gonna transition that for uh, the evening sale and get my 15 items uh, for that sale ready. Um, all right, so those are my next steps. I do have some more postage to get ready and then I will see you up at uh, the front door. All right, well, I am up by the front door. There is a lot going on at the front door today. Uh, <laughs> I have, well, let's turn this around. I have one stack right here. There's one, two, three, four, five. Those are going out today. I have another stack here where there is one, two, three, four, five. That is all going out today. Over here, I've got one tucked behind there and I've got one, two, three, four, five, and that's six. Um, these are going out but only one per day. So I've got this stack here. So we'll, for the count purposes, we'll take one out of here and add it to here for a total of 11. But that is, that's a lot of uh, real estate in the <laughs> mail carrier truck. That's a lot that's going out today. Um, so there you go. So there are officially 11, 11, 11 so far that are going out today. And then from that, then there'll be five left and then we'll take one a day 
and um, and send those out uh, because there's no way there is there's I'm not even sure there's room for all of this. I did um, I did when I filled out my form last night. I did put like the vol the number of packages and the weight that I had so far. So yeah, he he knows if it's my regular mail carrier today. Um, he knows a lot is coming today. Uh, but yeah, there's just there's no way there's room for all of this in the truck. So we're just gonna we're just gonna phase it out. I'm gonna try to take one from that big stack plus all the others. We'll see. We'll see what he's got room for now. Everything that's on this side, I am really going to try to to get every, really going to try every single one of those 10 in the truck. And then the other stack, we'll see what we have room for. Hopefully one, hopefully one of those, and then we'll do one a day. So that is where we stand on postage. Now, I only have six items remaining in my hold area and if I do happen to get um, payment on any of those well I will let you know if I'm adding any more to the stack <laughs> the mega stack but uh, but that's what's going on now the table is almost cleared almost um, everything that someone bought has been um, um, divided up, organized, packed. It's all in their bags so I can take them upstairs and keep them sorted by bag. Uh, it's mostly uh, right now just the ones that haven't sold that I need to take off and um, go get, uh, find somewhere, find somewhere here to <laughs> put them for now. Uh, then I am going to work on the 15 items for tonight's sale and um yeah then i'll be then i'll be kind of caught up for today and we'll see what time it is and if i have time to do anything else today all right well i am back at the front door because i did get one more payment in so let me show you right there one more package added to the stack so that does make a total of oh gosh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then one there. So that is a total of twelve that will be going out today. All right. Um, I'm going to get back to uh, selecting my items for the sale tonight, <coughs> and then I'll see you after the sale. All right, well, it is now after the Sue Spezio show. Every picture tells a story. And um, Sue made it through almost the whole, uh, the whole uh, sale. So that was great, being able to spend some time with Sue. Erin uh, joined also. Uh, so if you missed the sale, hey, go back and, and uh, check it out see what great items um, Aaron brought to the sale and let him know if you're interested in purchasing any of those items. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, so uh, we did the uh, races. So let me tell you who the winners of the races were. Uh, the member appreciation race. That was uh, Jan Goodwin. I've got Joe here. He's, he's helping. Aren't you, buddy? Thank you. Uh, the uh, comments left on a video. The winner was a uh, Nails Jamie B. The comments left on a live. That was a uh, Patty Crane. Uh, comments left on a short video. That was Oh My Vintage for the win. And the number of packages I shipped out last week, uh, that winner was CRR13 Richie. So congratulations to all the winners. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the sale. Uh, we brought 15 items to the sale. 
I sold six, so nine are still available. So let me go ahead and flip. Yep, I got my helper right there. Huh, buddy? Yeah, you're a good helper. Look at that good helper. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he's like, yeah, but it's time to go to bed. I know. It's a, it's actually a little bit after after the sale because uh, I was getting some things done around the house so that I, I can go to bed too. All right, up first is this wonderful picture. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Love the outfit, love the hat, love the expression. Um, this uh, picture is $4. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood. This is a scholastic book from 1997. And it has finger puppets of the woodsman, the wolf, uh, Little Red Riding Hood, and Grandma. Uh, nice thick pages on this book and great graphics. Uh, that is $9. A pair of um, kind of picture souvenir books. One is New Orleans. One is Baton Rouge. I was selling them together uh, for $8. And a pair of, uh, what are these? Hamilton Beach Mixers. So if you have the Hamilton Beach Mixer or would, are thinking about it, uh, these this has, you know, how to use all the attachments plus recipes. And that set is a $7. Another great photo. Uh, this one is from oh, Minneapolis. And her collar is so high, I don't know how she's breathing. Uh, but a really unique look to her clothing. Uh, she is $3. And then this standing picture, this is not uh, American, not from America, but I love the fact that she has a pattern to her skirt. That is such a great look. Uh, this picture is $4. A steampunk coloring book. Uh, the picture on the back cover uh, is filled in. There are so many awesome. It says over 30, but there are great steampunk images in here. And then the front cover is also um, partially or filled in. Uh, this is $8 for the book. Uh, this is a art book, Alberto... Oh, uh, Giacco, Giacometti. I'll, I'll get it. Giacometti, Alberto. Uh, this book came out in the late 70s, but I believe it is his work. It references 1900 to 1960. And then um, it does look like he signed this when the book came out, which was in... I think it's in the back here. 1978. And so this does show a lot of his art and his art studio and the process. And it's it's really cool. He's, you know, very modern art. But it is a pretty cool book. It is in German. Um, but it is an Ita all about the Italian artist. And I'll show you. There's, there's a shot of him. So I, I cannot confirm if that is his signature. Because uh, none of the other books about his art um, have his signature in it. Uh, but this is a $25. 
And then I have this wonderful book from, I think it's 1915, Happy Half Hours with the Bible. It has some beautiful pictures inside. It does have an inscription. And yeah, these just amazing art. And it is larger print. Makes it a little easier to read. I cannot get this page to turn. There we go. Uh, 1915. The binding is a bit loose on here. But I will show you uh, some of the artwork that is in here. And uh, this book is uh, $18. So $18 for um, the Happy Half Hours with the Bible. Uh, so those are the nine items that are still available. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what's sold. Uh, this is Mother Goose uh, Rhymes and Verses. I could not find a date that this one came out. It is a, a Whitman book. It has got fantastic illustrations in here. Some of them are colored. Um, a couple of them were colored in because part of it does look like a coloring book. So it makes sense. Uh, this sold for 18 I had a set of three of the Enid Blyton Sunny Stories. Uh, these ones were from, oops, let's see, come on, focus, 1941. So three of these from 1941, and they sold for $10. And I do have additional ones of these available if you are interested. Uh, this is a sealed puzzle, 550 pieces. Um, they call me Wolf, gorgeous horse, and, and he does have a wolf in his arms. Um, beautiful puzzle. That sold for uh, $10. Uh, this tintype small picture. Uh, this one sold for $4. A set of three more of these uh, Enid Blyton. Uh, these are from 1945, but look at this fella and his beard. Oh, such great illustrations. Uh, so those three sold for uh, $10. And then I have this pair of Japanese books. They are beautifully hand bound. And um, I'll show this one because it has more illustrations in it. But it is on um, Ikebana flower arrangements. It's all in Japanese. Okay, this one did have, it's like, wait a minute. There were illustrations in here. But yeah, kind of amazing illustrations. Um, there might have been more in the back, but a beautifully bound book. And the pair of them sold for a $15. But yeah, really cool. Really nicely done books. And of course, with Japanese, you would read it this way. This way, that's why the illustrations and the front covers on this, this is the back cover. And that is the front cover. Um, all right. So those are all of the items that sold and are still available. Uh, I am going to, um, yeah, get the table cleared off. And actually, I'm probably going to go to bed. <laughs> I'm probably going to clear that off in the morning. But that will be the plan. And I'll probably have that done uh, before I start talking to you again on Saturday and let you know what's going on. All right. Uh, so that is going to uh, wrap up 
the um, vlog for today. I'm going to get this uploaded on Saturday so you can watch it. But thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again on Saturday, especially for the Saturday night sale at 10 p.m.